The Gratitude Key, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Psalms 136.1. It's a part of the hymn book of the Hebrews in the Old Testament. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Gratitude is a powerful positive emotion. Just as depression is a powerful negative emotion that's like a black hole that draws all light and good that that is out there into it and crushes it, gratitude is a key that unlocks all the good that's in your life and allows you to see it in a fresh way and to experience it in a powerful way. I would encourage you to get a handle on this concept of gratitude. Let's listen to a couple of quotes and restate this verse again. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. And then Cicero said in early days, gratitude is not only the greatest of the virtues, it is the parent of all others. In other words, every good thing in life flows out of a a grateful spirit. And so if you want to be a truly good and godly person, a spirit of gratitude is absolutely essential. I want you to think about the most godly people that you know. You don't know any that are not full of gratitude. And I would argue that they're not really godly unless they're full of gratitude. And I think we need to work on that. As we think about these quotes in this verse, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. We can see that gratitude is a powerful force that can transform our lives. We can focus on what we have rather than what we lack. We can appreciate the blessing in our lives. We can turn a simple meal into a feast and a a hut into a home. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I pray that you would bless these under the sound of my voice. Give them a sense of gratitude. Let them remember three things they're grateful for today before they lay down tonight. Lord, help us to be thankful for what you've brought into our lives in such a rich, abundant way. I just pray that you'd bless us, give us your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.